Hello you crazy collectors, it's Andy of Bill's Lighthouse. I'd like to welcome you to this, I say special video, because today is the day that Burning Shadows has come out. We are all ready to go. This is the latest Sun and Moon set. Um, I've just finished work, and I'm, I might have cut that a bit too low. Just finished work, and this lovely package was waiting for me. Go just straight in. Yeah, that's all the plastics off. Flick this open. This I could I could easily work in a shop. Easily. Wow, fantastic. Can leave that down there. So we've got yeah, thirty six packs of burning shadows to go through. I don't see any more reason to waffle on than to just start. Um left or right. I normally go right first. So I'm gonna start with the right side, we've got my shadow here. And yeah, let's like see this is the latest Sun and Moon booster set to come out. There have been different uh sets and whatnot I've done been doing recently. It, as it's Sun and Moon, I will say it has going, going to go to the four to the front. I need somewhere really to be putting these cards. Um I'll figure that out in just a second. But while I'm holding it, tempting you all. Guzma, so this is probably going to be the new Lysander, um, because it switches out their active Pokemon, your active Pokemon as well. Um, it's mandatory, really. Uh, Whirlipede, Simisage, Wimpod, Tudigamaru, Sork, Mudbray, Oddish, Reverse Heatmore, and a nice hollow Diancy is a very pretty card. Well, I'm going to actually just open one of my loose, uh, I say loose, but one of my um, Elite Trainer boxes that I've had sitting around waiting for some cards to be put in. So at least once we start to get a little bit full, I can transfer them down somewhere a little bit nicer. Yeah, so there are a lot of very nice, decent cards in this set to hopefully be pulling. There we've got Energy Porygon 2. He can sit to a side, and I'll probably say why in a little bit. Olivia. That's probably going to be another good uh, deck. We, we kind of have Bridget currently where you search for a basic Pokemon or, you know, it's one EX or three basic, but because of the way things are worded, um, you can search for three basic GX Pokemon. Um, so that's probably going to be sort of coming in to sort of uh, deal with that. Tangler, Tynamo, Cabrawla, Inke, nice art there, Reverse Olivia, and Mudstale. Very good. I forgot what I was even saying now. So yeah, there are a lot of different cards that are going to be sought after in this set. A lot of the new GXs are very big and nasty. Oh, it's like a Charizard. Oh, here we go. It's the repeat. It's the Pokemon trading card joke. Everyone wants a Charizard. I mean, I wouldn't say no, certainly not. So, my Bray. Rest my bat. And then Electros. Cool. So yeah, I'm just trying to think what else I had a little read earlier of what is in store. Like I say, there's definitely going to be Charizard, there's uh, Necrozma. A lot to be going to see. This is probably going to be something that is going to help those uh, Brooklet Hill decks, definitely. So not only can you search out what a Pokemon you can heal it with, with that card there. Magikarp, Lola and Rattata, Super Scoop Up, Meowstic, Regular. I think Super Scoop Up was an old card as well. Because I've just done um, uh, Shining Legends, so we've had a lot of the older style of cards sort of coming back with the Shining cards. Um, Porygon. Oh, look, there's another little woolly knitted Pokemon. That's a cute one. Hutu, Rhyhorn, Reverse Diancy, and. Oh! Oh, I say! Rainbow Tapu Fini. Wow. Incredible. So what sort of moves have you got? You can switch. 120 basic damage for its normal. Shuffle your opponent's active Pokemon and all cards attached to it into their deck for the storm. Uh, for that uh, Tapu Fini's GX move. So that's going to go into a sleeve. Sit you off to a side. That sounds quite nasty, that GX. So you set up, you're ready to come at this person with this water deck. You're ready to go. 
And you're sort of banking on this one big... With, with one big go. And they hit you with that. You're you're just done. You can't. You don't have anything else to hit them with. Or even when I say it's that the. Uh, Thought that very nice. Yes, I'm going to move some of these down into the box here. Yes, yeah, so like even if say you've just um, you're nearing the end of the match, you're hopefully going to win. You've got your one last Pokemon set up, and they just shuffle you back in. I wonder if that could. Uh, not deck someone out, but say, uh, say, you get Tapu Fini. Okay, so let's say hypothetically, I start and I lay one basic down for me active, and Tangrowth. Very nice. Is that a Hollow? No, no Hollow. Yeah, so I sit down, basic Pokemon on my active. I don't have anything on backup on the bench. My opponent plays Tapu Fini. I go first. Nothing, don't attack them, obviously can't. Don't get anything to set up to. And they hit me with a, a Tapu Storm. I wonder if that's just going to mean I instantly lose, because my my active Pokemon's gone. So obviously when your active Pokemon goes, and you have no more to back it up, that's it. So that'd be interesting to see if you could get, <laughs> effectively, a turn two uh, knockout. Like a turn two... Not knockout as such, but a knockout of the uh, your opponent has nothing else to uh, to do. Sophiles. Okay, that's the guy's name. I couldn't remember in um when I opened up my, my Shining Legends packs as to what I could. Oh, two Krogunks, very nice. And <laughs> Raticate. Okay, we've not had anything for a while. I think Tapu Finny has kind of stolen that uh, that limelight. Where's my phone? No, nope, nothing important. I should really turn that off when I'm recording. <laughs> Whirlipede. Tormenting Spray. Okay, uh, Simusator, I was just reading that. Ralts. Alolan Grimer. Sneasel, not as cute as the other one. Charmander. Crabrawler. Ooh, uh, Reverse Raichu. That's quite a good little looking card there. And Lycanroc. I suppose because we got the promo uh, daytime Lycanroc GX, then obviously there's the nighttime Lycanroc as well. Two, three, four. Uh, so, yeah, as we're only in promo boxes, those Lycanrocs, it makes it a little bit uh, difficult to kind of deal with. Soul Rock, Magikarp, Atada, Wimpod, Magikarp, Sock, Mudstow, and. Electra, okay. I'm starting to go on that drought now. We're starting, I'm starting to feel it. I'm feeling the drought. One, two, three, four. I've bent that back card there. Not the not the good one, but the one I just put in the number four slot here. Super Scoop Up. Another Guzma. Ralts. Alolan Vulpix. Grimer. Sneasel. Charmander. Reverse Seedra. And, ah, speaking of Lycanroc, there is a hollow... Midnight like rock. I think they're pretty much um, just basic counterparts of their GXs. So they obviously don't have as much uh, hit points as them. They don't have that big nasty moves that some of them do. I can't remember what um, Daytime's one was. So fair energy. Buffalon, Escape Rope, Wick. Ooh. A very cute horsey on that one. Lovely art. Mud Spray. That's got nice art. Is that a... No, it's not a clay one. Ladybug. <laughs> Volpix, first Promenera, uh, Plumeria, Persimion, okay. So we're definitely starting strong. We might be petering out a bit, I would say. <laughs> but, I mean, we've still we've still got another half and like four more on that side. Wick, Wobbuffet, Seedra, Krogunk, Pikachu, Panpaw, Cutifly, Pansir, uh, Nine Tails, and Slowking. He's having a nice little trip on the beach. Look at that. Ah, oh, that's a lovely that is. I'm just having a look at this Nine Tails. So, so I'm just going to go back to this one quickly. Its ability allows you to prevent all effects, including damage done to this Pokemon by Pokemon GX or EX. So, if your opponent only had EX or GX Pokemon, 
in their deck or even just active currently, well, they can't do anything to you. And that wouldn't be very nice. Arkenji, Noctowl, Simsage, Oak Strike, Venipede, Horsey, Mudbray, Lediba, Hoot Hoot, First Tormenting Spray, and, ooh, Guard of War EX. Very nice. That looks really energy efficient. Once during a turn, you may attach an energy card. So, yeah, that you can easily set up other fairy types. Shuffle 10 cards back into your... From your discard back into your deck with its GX move. So, if you're worried about you've just thrown something away, you can get that back into play. That looks like it's going to be a bit of a... Bit of a monster to deal with. Oh, well... 230 HP, that's a fair amount. I mean, what's Kamo GX got? He's got 240, I think. Robombi, Savalese, Surviper, Stuffle, Crabrawler, Morlow, Sandy Ghast, Venipede, Reverse Zygarde, and Anarachnoid. Actually, hang on, didn't I get. Sorry, I'm going, and I'm going off on a bit of a tangent, but I'm. Um... I bought a couple different little things the other day on eBay. They turned up, and the lovely person d uh, sent uh, an extra little Morlo in the pack. So there's a Japanese one and a regular one. And I do like that when people uh, say when you buy something off them, they send you like a little sort of extra. I mean, it can just be quite easily a, oh, here's a random card that I didn't want, but... Oh, it's something extra for you. It's very nice that they've thought to... I mean, if you're paying for something, they could quite easily just give you what you've paid for and be done with it. But no, that was very nice, and I thought, oh, that's quite funny. Seeing that. Moving on to the next pack. Oh, there you go. There's a code. I was trying to be sneaky. <laughs> One, two, three, four. I mean, I do want to keep these because I do want to see what I can get then online and hopefully get, maybe like say, having some good cards in here, getting them into current... I do like as well that Stuffle and Beware have been in every Sun and Moon set. Where's Noctowl? And, ooh, a Hollow Kingdra. Look at that shine. Wow. Lovely. Okay, so we're down to the halfway mark. coming along but yeah so as i was saying i'd like to be able to keep all the cards as much as, as well as i can anyway to see what kind of things are going to work well escape rope uh cell rock in case oh, that's quite a nice art as well oh don't get a bit too close stuffle grabola morlo sandy ghast rust meowth and charizard jick there we go i win i win uh pokemon trading cards i've pulled a, <laughs> a charizard fantastic now, he is a quite a beast as well. 250 HP. I don't know if that's the most of a stage 2. Wing attack. Crimson's on. 300 damage. 300 damage. That's everything dead. And, alright, yeah, sure. You could discard 3 fire energy from him. But, which one? It's like, QA, I think. One of the new supporters. Attach... Four fire energies to one of the Pokemon. One of your Pokemon. I don't know if it's from your discard pile or just straight four energies. But that's four energies onto Charizard. You can just keep Crimson Storming. I mean, raging out as well. What's that? Discard the top ten cards of your opponent's deck. Okay, so let's think of it this way. So you start by drawing seven cards. So you draw seven cards. You then draw six to... For your prizes, that's 13, and then when it's your turn, you draw one more. Oh, no, sorry, so we start with 13 of a 60-card deck is sort of eaten up by just the setup. So you have 47 left. You take down 10 of that, you're down to then 37 cards. Half your deck is just gone, like that. Crow Grunk. Well done, Dex. Hey, and it's that lovely Raichu again. That's a nice little shine on that as well. 
So there are some seemingly nasty cards. Now, Charizard has always been one of those sort of like joke ones. I mean, I remember from school when we were doing it. Uh, everyone was it was, it was it was the height of Pokemania, and kids, cards, games, everything was going around the, the class, the the playground, like rock, Tangrowth, Okay, and. Uh, yeah, everyone was trading, everyone was after that Charizard. And I remember one day going into, I think it was, it wasn't a locker room, but it was that sort of idea where we would keep our bags, a little cloakroom. And there was on the floor a ripped up copy of a Charizard card. I didn't personally cry, but some poor little boy did. Okay. It's also gotten very dark all of a sudden. I suppose it is burning shadow, so it would make sense. <laughs> ah, that's why nobody comes to your channel, Andrew. You make stupid jokes like that. <laughs> very energy. Where are Solrock, Guzma, Noibat, Alone Grammar, Yolu, Cutifly, Magikarp, and Electra. Drive. Cool. Yeah, no, see, that looks a lot better. I didn't quite realise how dark it was until I suddenly looked down at the camera. Never mind. Like I say, you get the full sort of effect of burning shadows then. Ha 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 ha. Energy. Metapod. Wishful Baton. If this Pokemon... If the Pokemon this card is attached to... Uh, yeah, let me start again. <laughs> if the Pokemon this card is attached to is your active Pokemon is knocked out from damage from the opponent's move, Move up to three basic, and he's one of your bench. So okay, so it's kind of like um, experience share, but it goes on to your active. Put one of your Pokemon that has any damage counters. Okay, so you can kind of uh, uh, nullify any sort of damage to them. Porygon Panther, a uh, Pampor, Pansage, Esper, Reverse Weevil, and a Zoomerill. Okay, very nice. So yeah, as we just, I suppose, I will say, as we just saw that Porygon, I will say, um, I, uh, you might have been able to tell with my little mascot here in the corner, my lovely little 3D printed Porygon. Um, Porygon is my favourite Pokemon. Um, has been, always liked him, and uh, I do collect Porygon cards. That's one of the ones that I do like. I mean, a lot of people will collect particular cards. And, ooh, I'll come back to my story. <laughs> Noivern GX. Ooh, that's very good. So he's doing... Ooh, see that? Sonic Volume could shut down a few people. If they if they need uh, special energies, you can kind of stop them with that. Distort is pretty bad as well. You can't play any item cards from your hand. But your opponent can't play any item hands from their hand next turn. So you either need a supporter, or that's it. And boom burst. 50 damage to each of your opponent's Pokemon. Oh, wow, that could be quite nasty. It's not going to be a knockout on uh, on every sort of basic or lower things. I mean, yeah, you might knock out a couple Magikarps or something real weak. But... Still, 50 to everything. If they've got the bench loaded, that's 50 damage. Just 50 free damage to everyone. Ride on. Bodybuilding dumbbells. Sandy Ghast. Venipede. Sneasel. Blown Vulpix. Horsey. Crabobobobobobobobobobobobobobobobobobobobobobobobobobobobobobobobobobobobobobobobobobobobobobobobobobobobobobobobobobobobobobobobobobobobobobobobobobobobobobobobobobobobobobobobobobobobobobobobobob
I've probably just upset so many people who see this. <laughs> but that's cruel to have Bye Bye Heal on a Butterfree card. Come on, Pokemon. You you know what you're doing. <laughs> Caterpie. Uh, Venipede. Sneasel. Hello, Vulpix. Mount Lanakila. Melmore. I think he's got a really, real sinister look about him. And again, in the anime, he's got a very cinema... I say sinister, and he said cinema voice. Very sinister voice. He don't, it's really silly. It sounds like you're trying to, he's trying to make fun of you. Um, weak. But yeah, going back to Porygon, I collect the cards. Like I say, I've got my little... There he is. My little fella there. I've actually got, as well, in the corner... A nice little Porygon keyring that I found on eBay. And Toxicroak. Yeah, so I, I, like, I like Porygon. I like to collect different bits. There are certain Pokemon I like to collect uh, the particular cards of. Um, I'll probably show off my collection one day. I won't do it right now because obviously that's not the focus, but... Yeah, so I have different collections. Like I like to complete different sets. See, this is what I mean. Search your deck up to, search your deck for up to four cards and attach them to one of your Pokemon. So that's going to be very critical in probably any sort of Charizard deck that's going to be coming out. Um, yeah, I reckon that's just going to be the big kind of hitter. Big energy um, movement. And Dusk Noir. Hey, where's my, uh, where's my other one that I showed the other day? Minus point two. Ah, very nice. Very good. We're closing on in on the end. So let's keep rocking and rolling. Two, three, four. So yeah, and I'll probably show off different pieces of my collections um, another time. Lunatone. Angler. Tynamo. See, he's another little, one of the uh, little wool guys. Grabula. Inke. Lediba. Oh, reverse Darkrai. Very nice. And... Oh, and Marshadow GX. Okay, very cool. So I don't know too much about this little guy. Like I say, he's an interesting one. Um, I think he's probably going to show more in the movie and the games that he's going to come with. That's a very interesting ability. This Pokemon can use the attacks of any basic in your discard pile. So say if you had some monstrous discard uh, Pokemon in there, you you can just use that. You can just use their attack, and I mean you still need the basic so the required energy, but still that's pretty funky. Mew sort of does that, um, where it can use the move of any one involved. Lana, Heatmore, Simiseer, Meryl, very cute. Hoot Toot, Rhyhorn, Rolts, Tangler, Reverse Inkay, and a Beware. See that's what I mean. In every Sun and Moon set, they've had a Stuffle, they've had Beware. They really do like the guy. I mean, he's a very cute, cuddly bear. I mean, well, the whole uh, Pokedex does say about um, not hugging him, because he will split you in half. It's crushed. Gone. See you later. Horsey, Noibat, Hello and Grimer, Riolu, First Meryl, and Scalopede. Nearly there, so what's that? Four packs to go. Two, three, four. Dusclops, Charmeleon, Tormenting Spray, uh, Porygon, Meryl, Hoot Hoot, Rhyhorn, Ralts, Reverse Malamar, and Alola Ninetales. Very cool. I'll put them in the box. Okay, so we're drawing to the end. We had a lot of fun opening these boxes. But like I say, that's that's I think that's part of the fun, the charm of opening up different packs and whatnot. You you you, you really don't know quite what you're gonna get. It's like in the one of the I think the most recent episode I uploaded, um, how I got like four. GXs and a break and all sorts and these are just from random packs. Porygon, Rose Duskull and 
Alolan Mark GX. Ooh, ooh, ooh. Nice. Chemical breath. Okay, so if you can kind of get stack up some uh, different effects on them, that first move does pretty well. Although that GX does actually say switch one of your opponent's benched Pokemon with their active. The new active is now burned, paralyzed, and poisoned. Right, okay. So yeah, you can definitely... So that's what. So say they don't get to take all of them off. Sorry, I came right into the right of the camera then. So it's 220 damage if they can't heal any of those statuses. 220 damage. That's pretty nutty. Okay. Water energy. Weakness apology. Uh, <laughs> weakness apology. Policy. Porygon. Potown. Ladybug. Caterpie, Sandy Ghost, Benepi, Sneasel, Reverse Gyarados, and Shinotic. Okay, so here we go. The last pack. The last pack of today. <laughs> it's going to be the last pack for a while. It's not going to be the last pack ever. Because we're definitely going to be coming back for this boy. So, uh, Energy. Bufalon, Charmeleon, Rhydon, Oddish. Duskull, Esper, Morlol, Charmander, First Lycanroc, and the final card of today is Noivern GX Full Art. Woo! Now that is a pretty fine and satisfying end to the day, I would say. So, got a nice good little bunch. Let's uh, have a little look. Oh, throwing them everywhere. I've realised as well that I haven't really been keeping my hollows all together because surely I couldn't. I've, surely I'm not getting three hollows in a day. So, all right. So let's see. Yeah. So we've got the two Neuverns, Marshall. Okay, we'll go from this order. We'll actually do it in this order that I've got them in my hand now. So we've got the Alola Muck. It's very good. The, the Rainbow Tapu Finny. Look at that shine. That's gorgeous. Marshadow. Noivern. Noivern. The Guard of RGX. And I'd probably say the Charles RGX. That's probably going to be quite um, a sort of card. Like I, I, I do feel like wanting Charizard is almost a joke in, uh, in terms of Pokemon cards. Just because, like I said, it was one of the base set rare ones. It wasn't number one. But people wanted it. It was it was supply and demand basically. Um, yeah, I have a feeling this one's going to be another one. Just for how crazy that number is. Three hundred damage. Wow. Okay. Well. Wow. Anyway. So yeah, that's been burning shadows. I'm actually quite disappointed because I didn't get a Porygon Z to go with my other two. <laughs> no, but like the the big old cars that we got here, they, these are fantastic. Um, they're definitely going to get put into top loads, I reckon. Keep them nice and safe. Um, so, yeah, until next time, I've been Andy of Bill's Lighthouse. Thank you all for watching, and I'll see you all guys soon for the next episode.